Now that the memories had stirred, Father Armand seemed eager to tell his tale. He explained how the Huns, like the other barbarians, had a style of warfare dramatically different from the ancient Romans or my own Franks. The Huns would charge as one group, often firing arrows as they came, and then suddenly retreat again. For the nations of Europe, who were used to forming up lines and columns and even issuing challenges for personal combat, this was an aberration. They were unable to comprehend warfare in this manner. Barbarians did not conquer lands. They did not try and hold and colonize the cities they attacked. Instead, they ravaged and pillaged and took their loot back to their camps. By that time, there were two Roman empires. The government having decided that the Roman lands were simply too vast for one city to manage effectively. Attila and the Huns began a series of raids into the Eastern Empire. The Eastern Roman Empire is fielding their army. We must hasten with our raids so that we have enough resources to train our own army. Nysos produces the best lumber in the region. Let us take all that we can by destroying these lumber camps. This moat is the Roman fort. We should avoid it until we are ready.
not need houses. Let us burn these to the ground and take these villagers with us. Bidding. But Let us find a suitable chan. location to establish our camp. Timo, Berdichung, Berdichung, Anchung. I remember this place. They took several of our raiders prisoner before. We must rescue our Hun brothers held at the castle before they are executed. Riders to withstand the Roman attack, then go on the offensive. Let us raise the Sophia Town Center with our Tarkans and see what loot we may find.
much food stockpiled in their town center.
लुक सर्दीस You are most foolish to trespass here. If you bring us six of your villagers, we will make it worth your while. Amor Nindo, Parindo Chun, Parindo Chun, Timu, Parindo Chun Chun. Amor Nindo, Tata. We thank you for this. The reward waits in the clearing to the north. city of Nessus was erased from the earth. The Huns so devastated the place that when the Roman ambassadors passed through to meet with Attila, they had to camp outside the city on the river. The river banks were covered with human bones, and the stench of death was so great that no one could enter the city. Many cities of Europe would soon suffer the same fate. The ambassadors that the Romans sent to Attila concealed an assassination attempt. Somehow, Attila knew of the attempt on his life and sent the terrified assassin back to his emperor with the gold he had been paid to do the deed in a sack tied to his neck. Following such a demonstration, the Huns had no difficulty convincing the Eastern Roman Empire to start paying them tribute, protection money to stave off the inevitable Hun invasion. <laughs> <laughs> 